Lamar Jackson and Reggie Bush are two of the most explosive players in college football history. Both are Heisman Trophy winners with Reggie Bush finally getting his back. And today we put both of them on the same team. The biggest question, though, is which team's better? Today we will put them on both teams and see which team will create more national championships as well as which duo on those teams comes away with the most awards. We start off with putting both of them at Louisville and we get things started in the season with a 27-14 lead against Georgia Tech late in the fourth quarter. Reggie is doing a great job of picking up yards with his legs and Lamar is actually doing a good job of finding his receivers downfield finds Reggie Bush here for a big time touchdown to get the season started on the right foot you get another touchdown late in the game Reggie Bush can get things started with a good strong start the Kentucky game is a little bit closer and you see the passing attack converts on a fourth down and when Louisville starts the year six and oh Louisville ends the year 10 and two makes it to the conference championship game as well as a peach bowl appearance against the Tennessee Volunteers. End of the year as the number 16 team is nothing to be ashamed of. Our offense, because of Lamar Jackson and Reggie Bush, is one of the top in the country. However, they do struggle against Tennessee. A 34-17 loss gives the Tennessee Volunteers a win in the Peach Bowl. Lamar Jackson, though, comes away with some hardware. He wins the Max Maxwell and the Walter Camp. And while they don't win a national championship, Louisville gets two trophies to start the video. Now we flip things to USC. The Trojans will go against Hawaii at the beginning of the year, and it goes as expected, 41-14. to 14, And Lamar Jackson has it a big game to start the year, 379 yards and three total touchdowns. A loss to Washington State obviously hurts things, but the offense gets things back on track pretty quick with three big wins. The USC offense is the first scoring offense, kind of like Louis Wolf was in the first season for them. But right now, the offense is struggling to move down the field. Lamar Jackson does find a receiver down the left side, though, to put an insurance touchdown on the board, and that gives them the win. 31-20 to 20 against Utah. And again, the offense is really doing their part, but the defense is stepping up, although two losses toward, towards the end of the season – really hurt but they do win the conference championship lamar finishes second in the heisman trophy and comes away with a walter camp award the louisville cardinals hold a two to one lead in the awards category as we head into season two for the cardinals this is a top 25 team as they're ranked 14th heading into the season the projected to finish third in the air division and lamar jackson and reggie bush are two potential finalists for the heisman trophy they get things started with big time wins and big time showings offensively and now they face the number nine miami hurricanes getting things started reggie bush is going to get things going on the left side a big stiff arm to pick up some big yards there a 25 yard rush later in the series lamar gets absolutely smoked and the offensive line is struggling to protect him they're struggling to move the ball and miami is actually going to come away with a win here as the louisville cardinals are struggling to get the ball down the field a 34 to 24 win for the miami hurricanes lamar jackson was decent the offense, again, is scoring points. It's just a matter of those big games that they're going to struggle with. In the first two years, that's not unexpected. Again, we're seeing some big wins from this offense, some big performances because Lamar Jackson and Reggie Bush are there. And as we head into the end of the season, we see them take on the Memphis Tigers in the Fiesta Bowl. Lamar Jackson is looking deep downfield, throws an interception down 3-0 in the first quarter, and Memphis takes it inside of Louisville territory. From there, though, it's the defense. As Seth Hennigan throws an interception to get Louisville on the board. Riley's going to take it all the way back for a pick six here to get Louisville on the board. And from there, it's pretty much Louisville's defense that steals the show. Seth Hennigan looks really bad offensively as he throws his second pick of the game. Louisville's looking to take it back into the end zone, gets inside the 10 for more points. Again, this is a poor performance by Seth Hennigan, throws his third pick. Throws his fourth pick in the red zone there. And finally, to wrap things up, Seth Hennigan is going to throw yet another interception to seal the game for the Louisville Cardinals. A big win as they head into year three. Lamar wins the Heisman Trophy. Not a surprise when you look at his stats. So he wins the Heisman. He also wins the Maxwell once again. And he wins the Walter Camp as well as the Davey O'Brien Award. And early in this video, it looks like Louisville might be running away with it. Six awards to one as we head into year two of USC. 
USC kind of has the advantage in terms of getting to a national championship just because of the talent. And you can see that early on for the Trojans, a 38 to 14 win gets things started. And the offense is actually taking care of business early on until they lose to Washington state from there though. They do pick things up at the defense, though, is struggling to keep teams off of the board. Two losses heading into number two, Colorado. That is a very surprising result. The Buffaloes come in to L.A. to try and beat the USC Trojans, try to take down Lamar Jackson and Reggie Bush. And as you can see, both offenses can light up the scoreboard. Colorado does get things started here. They get on the board first. As they're up 7-0 here, Lamar Jackson takes this rate option and runs a guy over. And from there, it's the speed of Lamar Jackson that is going to take it all the way to the house. A big time run. Could this be the spark that the Trojans need? Unfortunately, so far, the answer is no. Colorado is inside of the five yard line. And on first and goal, they get stopped. Second and goal, they get stopped once again. And on third and goal, USC gets yet another stop to force a field goal. They are down 10, though, so they need points. Later, as USC gets the ball back, Lamar Jackson. Jackson is dropping back to pass, throws it on fourth down too short, and they turn the ball over. Another loss. A five and three start here is not good, but the offense kind of picks things up, and USC does end the season on a strong note here. Lamar finishes third in the Heisman Trophy voting, so no trophy there. He does win the Maxwell, the Walter Camp, and the Davy O'Brien, a good, strong performance. And you can see they have picked things up, and it's now 6-4. to four. Year 3 of Louisville, this is where things get really interesting, as they are a top-10 team, number 9, projected to win the ACC Atlantic. Lamar Jackson is second, although no Reggie Bush. Might be a little bit concerning. Lamar is currently carrying this video for both teams, and they get things started against Notre Dame, a tough-ranked matchup early to start the season. And as you can see, it's another defensive battle, although the rushing attack is picking up some good yards here. And Lamar does take it in for a big time win to get the season started. Again, Lamar Jackson is absolutely phenomenal. Offensive struggles, though, are kind of the theme early in this video. The Louisville Cardinals are only up 10 to 7 here. Reggie Bush is picking up some big yards for the Cardinals offense. And as we get late into the fourth quarter, the Cardinals are pulling away here. They do wake up a little bit. As Lamar finds his receiver on the left side here, adds another touchdown later for a 38 to 17 win. And from here, it's the offense that is showcasing its firepower. Again, this has been a theme of the video. It's what happens when you add superstars like Lamar Jackson, like Reggie Bush to a certain team. You're seeing nearly 50 points, over 40 points, almost every single game so far since those early struggles. And it's been an absolute joy to watch what this offense can do. Ending the year strong, a 31-26 win over NC State was close, too close for comfort. A Northwestern win wasn't as close, though. And as they head into the conference championship game against Miami, they come away with another big win. Winning the ACC means that, yes, they are in the national championship and they face the Florida Gators. The Gators' defense could prove to be challenging against the one of the best offenses in college football. Florida is number one. And Louisville is number two. And so far, it's Louisville's defense that is stepping things up to start the game. Florida can't get things going. And Louisville gets a field goal to get the scoring started. From there, it's all Louisville offensively. Lamar Jackson takes it in for a touchdown to extend their lead to 10-0. Jackson then finds his receiver, who else but Reggie Bush. And a safety from the defense gets things to 19-0. Fourth quarter, it's a 19-0 game. The defense continues to thrive, and Lamar Jackson is going to pitch the ball. Keelan Brown, who almost gets stopped, runs his guy over, and it's a 26-0 lead. And as the clock ticks out, you see the Louisville Cardinals come away with their first national championship of the video. This is putting a lot of pressure on USC. Lamar and Reggie Bush are doing great things for the Louisville Cardinals. A little bit surprising to see the Cardinals win a national championship. But again, having these two is really what makes the difference. Louisville adds to their trophy case and they add a national championship to this video. Lamar Jackson wins the Heisman. He also adds the Maxwell, the Walter Camp, and that is another two trophies, three trophies, excuse me, two that trophy case and that's going to be tough with the schedule that they face an absolute gauntlet to start the year the trojans however are favored to win the conference they're also the number one team coming into the country but number 12 texas a&m comes to town and as you see 
The Trojans are down by three, and who else but Lamar Jackson is picking up big yards in the fourth quarter, finds his guy on the right side for a big-time pass, and later Reggie Bush punches it in to give USC the lead. As time is winding down, a 30-27 to lead, and they are just going to run out the clock. Lamar picks up big yards, picks up a first down, and that will do it. That will give the number one USC Trojans the win, a big win to start the year. Defense against stepping up in a big way, though Lamar Jackson extends the lead here against Utah. Another tough win, but a good win. Again, Colorado is good this year once again, but USC finds a way to blow them out, some revenge from the last season. And from there, it's the offense putting on an absolute show. 40 plus points the last two games. You had a 24 to 20 win against a tough Notre Dame team. And from there, again, the offense is doing its part. 49 to 7, 31 to 28. The Lamar Jackson, Reggie Bush combination is proving to be one of the best in college football. Even if they don't have the best talent, those two are getting the job done. Funny enough, it's a rematch of game one as USC faces Texas A&M. As they're up seven late in this game, Reggie Bush is going to take this in on the left side for a big-time touchdown, 24 to 10. And later in the fourth quarter, Texas A&M simply can't move the ball past the first down marker. On fourth and three, they're looking to extend this game. Throw to the left side by Connor Wegman. It ends up being short, and USC comes away with a much-needed national championship. That was a big win for the Trojans as they were falling behind Louisville in this game. You're looking at a, a team that now is hoping that the hardware follows. Lamar does win the Heisman Trophy. That's huge for USC. He also adds the Maxwell. He adds the Davey O'Brien. So that adds to their trophy case. Year four of Louisville, this is huge. This pretty much makes or breaks the video. This determines who will be the better team, or it will give USC a chance to catch up Tennessee is finding a way to move the ball down the field they kick a field goal to tie things up at the opening game of the season they had another field goal to actually take the lead and down 27 24 for some reason Louisville decides to run a draw and on fourth down Lamar throws it to the left side but comes up short and Tennessee wins the game uh, from that point though it looks like Louisville is on an event tour they are trying to avenge that loss Still get back to the national championship. A week one loss isn't the end of the world, but you're going to have to win every single game from then on out. And so far, this offense is showing no mercy on any team. 40 plus points against nearly everybody this season. And the defense taking a holiday, but it's the offense who doesn't really care. They're doing what they need to do to potentially get back to the national championship. Lamar Jackson only wins the Davy O'Brien and Louisville comes up just short of that national championship. They do play in a big-time bowl game as they play the Orange Bowl against Houston, and they find a way to win 27-20 in overtime. Again, no surprise here. This is the number one team in the country. The USC Trojans projected to win their conference. Lamar Jackson expected to win the Heisman Trophy. Both guys are on the first-team All-American list. And Texas A&M once again giving the USC Trojans some trouble so we see them once again. Lamar, though, is doing lots of damage. Finds Reggie Bush for the go-ahead score with 46 seconds left. And Texas A&M can't get the job done. They can't move the ball down the field. Lamar with a huge opening game. And the offense, again, is taking this seriously. 60-plus points in back-to-back -back weeks. 52 points the next week. 56 against Arizona. This is a team that is on a mission. We might see an absolute upset here in terms of USC stealing this video. I did not expect this team to come out this. Oh my goodness. They are just destroying everyone. Lamar though finishes second in the Heisman trophy. Oh my goodness. And only wins the Davy O'Brien. They do make it to the national championship. So they're not going to win the awards part of this video, but they can beat Louisville in terms of the national champions. They're the number two team against the number one, Illinois fighting Illini. And USC is absolutely taking it to them. This is going to be a big time win. So USC does win the national title part of this video. Louisville wins the awards, which is not surprising. If you had to predict that at the end of the video, that shouldn't be surprising. Lamar and Reggie were really fun to play together. I think that they were really fun to watch. Who else should I do next? Should you like this series? What other superstars should I put on the same team? And we'll see what you guys have to say. As always, like the video, share it with everybody, and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well.